Today in All About That Base, a little bit of a walkthrough on how to count tasks in a long text field. Welcome back to All About That Base, where my goal is to help you understand Airtable more completely. Now today, we're taking an example where maybe you've got some tasks in a long text field. You have the rich text option turned on in there, and you've got checkbox items, but you want to know how many of those things are checked out of the entire number of tasks you have in there, whether it's one or 21, whatever that may be, and you wanna get a percentage count of how many are checked. So what we're gonna do is walk you through how to build a formula to count all those things, either individually numerically or by that percentage option I just talked about. So let's go. In this situation, what we wanna do is count how many checks are made in these different subtasks in this individual subtasks field here. So as we go in here and you know check things off, we wanna know in a secondary field, what percentage of the total number of tasks in there have been checked. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a formula field, call this percentage, formula, and we're gonna begin by just testing to see, okay, what data do we have to work with coming out of this field so we can start extracting pieces and seeing what's there. So I'm just gonna say subtasks, put it straight in here and look at the raw information. So the way it transfers over these checkbox entries, both checked and unchecked, is by using square braces around either an X or just an empty space. So what we can do to find checked entries is look for the bracket and the check, and then for all entries, just look for the open bracket. Now, as long as your subtasks don't actually have an open bracket inside them, you'll be okay. If you're putting brackets in your task names, for example, that could be a problem, but we're gonna assume that's not gonna happen. So now we have that, we're gonna start figuring out how do we tell how many, first off, how many task items there even are. And again, we're gonna do that by counting the open brackets. The way that you can count individual pieces in a field is by beginning by taking the length of the entire field and then subtract the length of that same field with the part you wanna count substituted out with a substitute function. Now, if you're substituting out more than one character, like a sequence of several characters, then you want to take the full length minus the length with that stuff removed via the substitute function, divide that by the length of the thing you're taking out. So if you're taking out five characters, you would divide the total by five, and that will tell you how many iterations of that five character thing are no longer in the result. So in this case, we can actually simplify it a little bit. We can simply substitute the bracket X with just the bracket by itself. that will still let us count how many of that bracket X combination are in there, if there are any at all. So let's go and begin wrapping that around. Substitute from subtasks. We're gonna pull open bracket X, it's a lowercase X, I believe, and replace that with just the bracket itself. So literally only taking one character out and we'll see, I uh, don't need substitutes, there we go. And now we'll see, uh, okay, now we've done that, taken out just that one piece. Now we need to figure out what is the length of that thing. The len function is how you determine the length of a string, the length of that piece. And then before that, we need to take the length of the full thing unmodified. So it's just len subtasks minus the length of that thing. So now we can tell we have two checked over here, zero there and zero there. If I go in here and check another one, now it'll go up to three. If I take them all off, it'll be down to zero. So it's an accurate count. And it's gonna work for any, any number of items. So down here, it doesn't matter we have four versus three versus the two down in the third record, it'll still work because it's counting the number of things we took out, not the total number just yet. But we will be doing that total number here uh, as the next piece. So we know how many have been checked. Now we need to take that out of the total number. So it's basically the same thing. We're gonna take that number of checked items that we've counted, divide that by the full thing. Now, instead of counting how many things there are total, we're simply taking an open bracket, replacing it with nothing, meaning how many entries do we have? So now it still says two, but I haven't formatted the thing properly. So what I wanna do is format this as a percentage. So here's a problem that we're running into now. We've got several things going on in these calculations and we need to isolate the first combination, the length of the checked items, from the second combination, the length of all checkbox entries. 
So I need to wrap parentheses around the first piece, one more piece to separate that, tell Airtable to calculate that part separately, calculate this part separately, and then divide the total result from each of those separate calculations. And now we have the proper calculation here. So 67%, so two thirds of that one, it rounds up obviously. Down here, if I start checking things off, I can say, okay, I've got half, it's proper there. Down here, I can do one, and that works as well. So now we've got an accurate count of how many tasks in our full collection of subtasks, no matter how many there are, represented in this field. That's it for now. Remember to subscribe if you want to see what's next, and give this a like if you like. I'll see you next time.